So today we're checking out the Tumbrel Storm and the Tumbrel Storm AA. I had a very brief look at them uh, yesterday in the expo hall, but obviously there's limitations on things you can look at and, and whatnot. So we're going to be taking it out for a spin. We're going to be seeing how we get on. And I am extremely excited to see specifically how the AA does things because I've seen a little video of that and that looks really cool. But first up to load into the M2 is this guy, uh, the wonderful Tumbrel Storm. I really like the design of this uh, tank here. I don't know why it's bouncing, uh, but I have to say I really freaking enjoy the design of it. I think it looks really kind of aggressive, got lots of angles, and there's so much detail in this ship. There's so many like little buttons and stuff. What is this? Fuel nozzle. Don't know when that's going to become a thing. And then we've got this button here. It's really cool, man. I don't. I say I don't know why it's all bouncing everywhere, but I think we. I think that's a weapon rack, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and then we've got on this side some like more components, radar, life support. Interestingly, there's actually a life support thing in it. Cool. And then what's on this one? Computer stuff. Noise. Yeah, I really like the detail of this. I think actually there's more on the back as well. Oh, that's cool. So I don't know what components these are. <laughs> Shield generators and power, I presume. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really awesome looking ship. And it's kind of ship, tank. And it's kind of designed to scout out and kind of be the first front runner in any like ground attack. And I think that's really cool. I'm really looking forward to more sort of on foot ground vehicle gameplay in Star Citizen. Obviously, at the moment, there's no real ground missions or anything like that, but I think it'll be really cool when that does come online. But look at this. This is my favorite thing about this tank. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, I love that. Wop, 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 wop. Oh, my word. If you're not going, wop, 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 what are you doing with your life? Honestly, so cool. Right, let's get out of here. Wop, wop, wop. Honestly, most satisfying. Wow, you can almost, like, seriously hear the tracks. Whoa! Thank you. Please visit again. Wow, the garage is in this game. <laughs> oh, my word. What? <laughs> Star Citizen, please. Let me just touch the ground. Yes. The ground. We did it. Sounds really cool. Oh, look at this thing. I'm actually really impressed. It looks really cool. Oh, I left a compartment open. My bad. Left a couple of compartments open. Let's actually see if there's any more I missed. So we've got... I really like the use of the space, actually. Like, using the kind of side of the vehicle for components and stuff. That's really nice. Really cool animations. It's clean. And there's a really nice paint, actually. There's a black kind of dark paint that I actually paid for because I really wanted to see what that looked like. And I'll, I've put it on the uh, the AA variant, and it's going to look like the freaking Batmobile, and I'm so excited for that. Um, okay, let's get this thrown in our M2 here. It will go on fine. Yeah, I don't know if this would fit in the C1. Definitely not. Looking at this. Yeah, it, it just, just about fits in here. My word. It's still bouncing, chat. I don't... It's just a bit jittery. It's had too much coffee, I guess. Right, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be allowed to get out another vehicle. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, awesome. This is great. So I've actually, I don't think any of the other things have like despawned, which is wonderful. But oh, yes. That looks nice. I really love that style. Again, with the jumping, I don't understand it. But yeah, I just absolutely love the detail in these ships, like the texture on the tracks. Just there's so much detail, like even in like areas where you think no one's really going to see. They really put time and effort into, like, really refining this stuff. And it looks so good. 
it's so worth it. And it really helps with, like, immersion as well. If it, obviously, the bouncing doesn't help with immersion. But, you know, <laughs> the game's an alpha. It will get fixed. I don't mind it. Also, I didn't notice this. Uh, I didn't figure this out yesterday. But there's a weapon rack there. Um, so I'll have to, like, play around with that later and give that a go. All right, retract that and then enter the driver's seat. But yeah, obviously, I can't really do anything about that at the moment because we're in an armistice zone. But uh, I will give it a go once we can. Oh, my word. So many missiles. The interior. I, I mentioned it yesterday. I didn't really mention it before, but the interior of this thing is really... Like, they've done a really nice job of not making it claustrophobic, but also making it look, obviously, like it, it makes sense. So, that's I think that's a really hard balance to make. Oh, look at the missiles! <laughs> that's a lot of firepower! Okay, so I'm pretty sure... If I turn around here, we've got... Oh, wow. We've got, like, a butt-ton of size 1s, and then we've got 8 size 2s. That's a lot of firepower for a tank. The only thing about having ships and land vehicles like this is obviously you're going to run out of missiles at some point, right? So that's a consideration to have. Like imagine a box of missiles that you've brought and you put it in the C2 or M2 in this case, and then you can restock it. Oh, beautiful. I just love the idea. You know, someone in the org is like, oh, I've got a bit of issues. I need some backup. Anyone got any land vehicles? I'm like, yo, don't worry. <laughs> I've got my M2 loaded up with vehicles and ammo, and me and some friends are kind of doing some stuff. What is that? Oh, that's terrifying. What is that noise? Oh, someone else has got a tank. Okay, right. Well, see you later, buddy. Right, let's go. Don't know what my camera is doing. There we go. Sort out the camera. It's inverted. I have no idea why. <laughs> Honestly, every patch, they fiddle around with the keybinds, and it is so triggering to me. Let me know in the comment section if you're the same. I it, I find it really triggering, because I spend ages, like, sorting out the keybinds for the perfect setup, and then you go to play the next patch, and then you press a button, and it starts the self-destruct sequence. It's not quite that bad, but, like, <laughs> it's so frustrating. Please stop playing with the keybinds. I just make new ones. Don't change them. I it's a little thing. Please. I I need the keybinds to stay the same. I'm not as young as I used to be. I need consistency in my life. I know you guys are fed up with me saying it, but oh damn. That look good. <laughs> that looks really good. It's like a freaking postcard, man. What the heck? It's so... Oh, I didn't mean to do... Like, the keybinds, please! Oof, this is a nice little spot. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's land here. Oof. Wow, frame rate. Oh, that is gorgeous, man. Actually, such a beautiful spot. This location is perfect. Oh, look at this. I don't think I've seen a bit of Microtech like that. It's so green and lush. Ah, oh, beautiful stuff, honestly. That looks so nice. Hello, Microtech. That's great. That's perfect. That is that's that's the juice. That's the juicy screenshot right there. Right, let's um Oh no. Oh no chat. <laughs> oh no. No no no. Please tell me I can oh. Okay, if I can't Oh I've got the elevator, it's fine. Okay. Alright, we're here. Oh man. Oh love it! <laughs> that feels good. Hang on. Let's, uh... Wait, can you not do it all the way around? Surely. It doesn't 180? Interesting. <laughs> oh my word, that might be one of my favorite thumbnails 
or like just screenshots ever. That looks awesome. So from inside, it actually looks awesome. Like you're driving around and you can actually just aim at obviously what you're firing at, which is pretty cool. Um, I have absolutely zero complaints about this. Apparently, people have said to me, apparently it's not that, um, it's not that tanky, <laughs> if you'll pardon the pun. Um, but honestly, I feel like it was never designed to be a really tanky tank. You know, it was designed to be kind of a scout that looks like a tank, more or less. Is that fair? I think that's fair. Um, my word. Yeah, it just looks so good, though. I really like the design. I would have preferred it if there was a bit more, like, rotation on, like, the shoulders, if you could call them that. But other than that, it just, it gives me, like, Halo vibes, you know? That's officially peak chat. I don't think my thumbnails get any better than that. That looks absolutely just... You could put that on the box, Chris. Uh, <laughs> you can use it free of charge, I promise. Um, yeah, I think this is great. I don't really know what to expect in terms of, like, firepower damage. Like, it's only a laser repeater, but I just absolutely love the fact that it's an option. You know, when you're... Imagine attacking someone's base or, you know... You've got a whole ghost hollow, and you and your squadron have got like five of these rocking up. I think that'd be great. Ah, oh, I can just see the gameplay now. I do really want to get like a video using these in some form. Uh, maybe I'll try and organize an event or something like that. That'd be really cool. Uh, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that if I actually get around to it. But um, yeah, obviously at the moment, these ships are cool, or these tanks are cool, but there's there's like limited use case for them. I would love it if there was like missions dedicated to using like vehicles like that. Maybe I know in Pyro there's like talk about oh man, look at that. There's been talk about areas where you can't fly and things like that. So play things like that really would escalate the use for vehicles. Like I say, like that. So I'm really excited for the future and I'm really glad I've got it in my uh, my hangar because it could be very useful. Nice. Right, so next up, I need to know how this works. The Tumbrel Storm AA. It's a beautiful tank. And then this, this like, uh, black paint. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm jazzed. <laughs> looks so good. It's like the freaking Batmobile. So we've got... Wow. So we've got 64... <laughs> Size one missiles. 64! You what, mate? And then... Oh, I don't know. They've changed the keybinds. I can't... I can't... Give me a minute, chat. I need to redo keybinds here. Hey, so we've got 16 size twos. Man, that's crazy. And 64 size ones. Oh, my word. And I can fire... Three, four, five, six... I can fire eight missiles at once. That seems a little insane. And I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my word, this looks so mean. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, chat. I think this might be the go-to. So how does this work then? Oh, by the way, Bobblehead, hello. How does this work? Do I just fight? Can I fire them at like a location or can I dump fire them? I assume so. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. I missed it, guys. <laughs> I missed it. I fired eight missiles at nothing. Oh, that looks cool though. Hang on. Let's do a little cinematic shot. This, this is going to look sweet. I might have to... There's competition for today's thumbnail, let me tell you. Uh, all right. Three, two, one. Oh, is it charged up? Yes. All right. We've got plenty of missiles. It's fine. That is so freaking cool. <laughs> that is so good. So, obviously, you would normally target something 
Let's see if... Uh, obviously, this won't blow up my ship, but... Too close. Hang on. Whoa! Okay, I'm really struggling for performance today. I really need to upgrade my PC. Thankfully, I've actually... My new PC arrived today, and I'll be doing a video on it very soon. So make sure uh, you look out for that and subscribe so you don't miss it. Um, all right, are we far enough away now? Still not far enough away. Okay, I need to get a little bit further. But yeah, the performance, I'm really struggling today, so... I'm very excited that I'm getting a new PC. <laughs> installed very soon. Target acquired. Okay, right. So we're going to go with the eight size ones. I really don't think it's going to blow up. If it does blow up, <laughs> send help. But here we go. Three, two, one. Nice. That was kind of cool. I love how I've still got 40 left. That's quite impressive, isn't it? Alright, let's go. Ah, oh, so good! <laughs> I love how one's just bounced off. I've got to say, guys, I really, really like this uh, tank, the Storm AA. I think, actually, I prefer it over the turreted version. Whoop! Um, I really like the gameplay... Uh, like, thought of, like, having... Imagine four of these all launching eight missiles at a ship coming towards you. Um, I don't know what that means in terms of damage. Obviously, I fired a few missiles at my M2 here, and it's absolutely fine, I think. I'll have a look in a minute when I get on board, if it's not... It seems a little bit uh, stuck right now. Let's see. I might have to leave these out in the wild. They look awesome. <laughs> they really do. I absolutely love these. I don't know how practical, like, legitimately how practical they are in terms of, you know, do, do they have the armor? Do they have the staying power for the gameplay that they're obviously meant to be involved with? But design, I love them. Audio, <laughs> visually, they're great. Um, I definitely can see a use case for... The missile variant less so a little bit of the uh the turreted version but i really like them and i kind of hope we get other variants it'd be really neat actually if we got a tumble storm i don't know what to call it but like an emp version or one that stops people going into quantum that would be in like a certain radius that would be a really ideal tool for locations to stop people getting away you know so, I really think the Tumbrel Storm as a variant platform um, would be really cool. And I hope to see more of it. Alright, let's see how long it takes the Tumbrel Storm to take out the Tumbrel AA. Hope I'm not going to get a crime stat. Okay. Still nothing. Let it charge up. Okay, well, I think that's blown up. <laughs> so that didn't take that long. Man, that animation is sick. Let's have a look at the damage here. So I'm going to leave this here as a memento. Uh... <laughs> oh, sad times. It's on fire. It's that kind of a cool... We didn't get an explosion, but man, this thing is not going to work anytime soon. Kind of cool to see all the insides of it, though. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. This has been an absolute blast. <laughs> and uh, yeah, tomorrow we're checking out. Let me just check the schedule. I know we're Origins on today, but I'm going to save it for tomorrow. And then...
And then we've got Drake. So tomorrow's going to be a really like exciting time. We've actually got a lot of content. I've got a PC video. To, um, I've got a PC to unbox, uh, which I'm super hyped about. I've got Origin, Drake. I think Drake have got a new ship, potentially. Uh, so <laughs> a lot of cool content this week. And uh, we're not even halfway through. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.